Hi guys, this dish is a knockout. Growing up, mom would always make something special for Sunday dinner. One of me and my brother's favorites was her baked shrimp kritharaiki. Today, I'm upgrading her pasta recipe and I'm adding a few fantastic Greek ingredients. So let's get to work. Here I have three pounds of large shell devein shrimp. We're gonna marinate this with a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil and two cups of chopped garlic. Add a little bit of black pepper. We're gonna give it a good toss. We're gonna cover it with some plastic wrap and pop it in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour. In a saucepan, we're gonna add half a cup of extra virgin olive oil and three chopped garlic cloves and let it saute for about three minutes. I'm gonna add three large crushed tomatoes and one teaspoon of tomato paste. We're gonna let this saute for about 10 minutes and start working on our chicken broth. Here I have four cups of chicken broth in which we're gonna add two celery stalks and one carrot. Then I'm also adding one onion. We're gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes and in another pot, we're gonna add a half a cup of orzo pasta in our salt water. Let this boil for five minutes and then turn off the heat. Now we don't wanna overdo it because we're gonna continue baking the pasta in our tomato sauce. Next, I'm adding one glass of a Greek dry white wine. We're gonna let this simmer for about three minutes, and while we're waiting, we're gonna strain our chicken broth through our sieve. It's time to grab the shrimp from the refrigerator. Next step, let's add our chicken broth our orzo pasta, and our shrimp. And add all these little juices in as well. We're gonna let this simmer for two minutes. Making it even more interesting, we're gonna add a few more ingredients. One large tomato that I've chopped in cubes, one tablespoon of Greek dried oregano, pinch of salt, pinch of pepper. Lemon zest from one lemon, feta cheese, and caseri cheese. Both cheeses are about half a pound. We're gonna let this simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes. For our last step, we're gonna turn off the heat, add four tablespoons of parsley, and a shot of ouzo. We're gonna cover it for two minutes, and then it's ready to be served. My mom would be proud of the results. A festival filled with flavors. You don't need to be a chef for this one, guys. All you need is just a little organization. Don't forget, have some homemade bread with this one because everyone's going to want to dip into this platter. Kali and see you next time on GreekRecipes.tv. Yasas.